guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Ulta haul for you. I've been picking up some things here and there, so it's kind of a collective haul, and I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I got is this Laura Geller Party Ready Kit, and this is a $76 value, and I got it for $20. This comes with the Drama Lash Mascara, the Eye Calligraphy Liquid Eyeliner, the Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer, and the Love Me Do Lip Crayon. I figured these were all going to be deluxe sample size products, but the mascara, eyeliner, and lip crayon are actually all full size and it's only the primer that's a deluxe sample so that's really awesome that's a great value for 20 bucks and I'm really excited about that I wasn't too sure about it when I ordered it because I've never tried anything from Laura Geller but I'm really happy that I got it now because I definitely feel like I got my money's worth I picked up two of the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I got the color Kitten Heels which is just a classic red and then Cherry Skies which is more of a sort of a plum toned holiday kind of red. It's really beautiful. I love this color. I was wearing Cherry Skies in my last video and I really love how that looked. I feel like it suits me really well. I've never really been into dark lipsticks on me but I'm kind of getting more into it and I feel like these ones are really good because they're very pigmented when you first put them on and I really like them. I definitely want to get some more colors. I picked up some lashes and lash glue. The lashes are from Ardell, they're the natural 110s. I'm not really too into wearing false lashes, but I kind of want to get a little bit more into it because I feel like it'll obviously add a lot more to certain dramatic looks, and I really want to start doing that. And the glue that I got is the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive. I had a different lash glue that was kind of in a little jar, and you had to use a small brush to put it onto the lash strip. It was really weird and it was kind of difficult, so I figured this would be a lot easier since it's the regular squeeze tube. I got a lip liner from Essence. This one is in red blush. I actually got this to go along with Cherry Skies, but the colors didn't match at all. But it's a really pretty color. I really like Essence's products, especially their lip ones. They're so inexpensive, but they're still good quality, and I feel like I should get a few more colors of this because I really like the consistency of them. I picked up the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This has been my favorite primer ever since I got a little travel size of this in a deluxe sample size kit. That one finally ran out. It did last me quite a while though, which is pretty cool since it was such a small size. But a little bit of this does go a long way. It smooths over your skin so nicely, so you don't need to use too much of it. So I really do think it's worth the money, even though it's a little bit expensive for a primer. I'm pretty sure it's $36. But it's been my favorite one. I definitely see a difference between this and some of the drugstore primers that I've used, so for me it's worth it and I really love it. I also picked up their Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. I've been looking to try out a new foundation. The one I've been using, the L'Oreal one, is kind of running out now and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get that or a new one, but I picked up this one and I do want to do a video for it. I haven't decided if I want to do a first impressions video or just wear it for a few days, see how I like it, and then do a full review on it. Let me know which video you prefer to watch. I like doing first impressions, but I want to know what you prefer and that's what I'll do. I got mine in the shade 1.1 which is the fairest one that they have and on the back of this it has a list of the claims and it says you're supposed to stay flawless for a full 15 hours with their breakthrough long wearing formula, your skin is supposed to be hydrated, shine free, imperfections are supposed to be blurred with light diffusing spheres. Buildable medium to full coverage, water, sweat, humidity, and transfer resistant, and it's oil free. So it has some pretty good claims on the back. It seems like it's going to do some pretty awesome things. So I'm excited to do that video on it. Again, just let me know which type of video you would prefer. I picked up the new Revlon Color Stay Not Just Nudes palette, which I kind of got mainly because I felt like it was supposed to be a comparison to the Maybelline The Nudes palette, like the nudes, not just nudes. I felt like they were kind of doing something there, maybe not, it could not have been intended. But I don't know, I wanted to pick it up and see what the difference was between them. It's funny that they say not just nudes though, because the colors are pretty much exactly the same as they are on the other palette, and they're all pretty neutral. But we'll see how this works out. I'm hoping it'll be pretty nice and it'll be a good drugstore palette. I picked up the Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask from Freeman. I really like their masks and I especially love mud masks. I feel like they make your skin feel so soft afterwards because they kind of exfoliate a little bit and they draw out so much dirt so I just feel so clean after I use these. And I've been using this once or twice a week depending on how much I feel like I need it. And on the back of this, it says it moisturizes, remineralizes, and makes skin feel sensationally soft, which is a pretty accurate description. I've been really liking this so far. The last thing that I got is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Peaceful. I bought this one also was having a premium perk where these were 50% off, so they were only $14, which is pretty awesome. And I've been wanting to get a different color. I do have 
the color Prim, I think, and I really love it. I love the consistency of these blushes, so I took advantage of that and I picked up this one. I like the color of it. It's a nice shimmery neutral pink. I think it has a little bit of peach mix in there. It's a beautiful color. I think it'll work really well with my skin tone and I'm excited to try it. So that's everything I got. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'll link all the products down below that I mentioned in case you're interested in any of them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on a new video every week and I will see you guys soon. Bye! got to pick out a few brushes from Morphe and I'm so excited for these because I've been wanting to try this brand for a while. They feel so soft, they seem like they're really good quality brushes and I want to do a full first impression type of video for these soon so look out for that. I'm excited for it. I've heard really great things about this brand so I'm excited to try them. The brushes that I 